Dairy Queen presents the 26th annual Brent Hambrick Memorial Open, sponsored by Discraft. With additional support provided by Innova Champion Discs, Brad Schick, Six Sided Discs, Control CX, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's team in training. Special thanks to everyone at the Columbus Flyers Disc Golf Club for organizing this amazing event and for coordinating the volunteers who have helped make this possible. This is your official course preview of Kinslow Disc Golf Course, located just off State Route 3 in Sunbury, Ohio at Freedom Park. Kinslow is a mostly wooded technical course that will test every shot in a player's bag. The short layout is a par 54 at 4,421 feet, while the long tees are a par 56 at 5,352. Hole one is a par three, 258 feet. Tightly wooded fairway offers a couple different options for players on the first hole. Once you get past those trees, you'll be greeted with an out of bounds line deep of the basket. The short tee for hole one is also a par three 195 feet with a more open gap bending to the left. Once again, the primary concern are the guardian trees short of the basket, as well as out of bounds just behind. Hole two from the long tee is a par three, 280 feet with out of bounds creek just off the tee. Plenty of trees in the fairway offer obstacles as you approach the basket on hole two. Hole two's short tee is a par three, 261 feet, with again out of bounds creek just off the tee. There will be painted lines along the creek to denote out of bounds. Hole three is the first combined T, par three, 186 feet. The OB Creek from hole two runs along the left side of hole three's fairway. This is a left to right shot that needs to move slightly uphill to reach the basket. Hole four from the long tee is a par three, 250 feet, shooting over a small valley. From the short tee, 132 feet. A painted line will denote out of bounds around the creek.
And once you navigate this heavily wooded fairway, you could also find out of bounds deep of the basket at the road and beyond. Hole five is a par three, 177 feet. For most players, this will be a slight turnover or Anheuser shot. And offers by far the most gettable birdie on the course so far. There is out of bounds, painted line and beyond behind the basket. Hole six is a par three, 225 feet from the long tee which is slightly offset and behind the short tee. There is an out of bounds painted line and beyond on the left side of the fairway, 162 feet from the short tee. This tightly wooded fairway offers few options to approach the basket. Hole seven is a par three, combined T, 219 feet. There are two obvious gaps left and right of the first guardian trees in the fairway. The right gap has a few trees you need to avoid at the end of the disc's flight, while the left gap is a little bit more open further down the fairway. Hole eight from the long tee, 315 feet. From the long tee, you'll have to decide whether you're trying to fly over the short tee through the tall trees or to the left of the first guardian tree. From the short tee, you have a more obvious gap at 267 feet. Another heavily wooded fairway with plenty of lines to choose from and plenty of guardian trees just short of the basket. There is out of bounds road and beyond behind eight as well as a painted line at the property line. Hole nine, par three, 268 feet. The long tee is slightly to the right of the short tee and only a little bit further away with narrow gaps to choose from. Hole nine from the short tee is also a par three, 264 feet, much further away from the out of bounds property line along the right side of the fairway and quite a few more trees to avoid. Hole 10 from the long tee is a par three, 312 feet, and offers our first glimpse of an open fairway. The brush has been cleared to open up this gap ahead of us much more from the long tee.
from the short T, hole 10 is 222 feet. There's an OB painted line and beyond at the property line along the right side of the fairway. And players will need to decide if they're going to tackle these gaps right straight at the basket or play it deep around the side for a look at the basket. Hole 11, par three, 381 feet, our longest hole so far from the long tee. and 282 feet from the short tee. Players can attack this hole by trying to punch through one of the low gaps or by taking the drone flight here over the top of the trees and trying to land around the basket. Hole 12 is a short par three, 207 feet. With thick rough on either side of the fairway, players just need to get through the gap and move slightly to the right to get close to the basket. Once again, the property line is behind hole 12, so watch for painted line and beyond. Hole 13 from the long tees, 248 feet, just a few feet back from the 204 feet of the short tee. With painted line OB along the right side of the fairway. This is one of the most open wooded fairways on the course. Hole 14 is our first par four from the long tee at 543 feet. We begin with a narrow fairway in the woods before it opens up into the sunshine. There are lots of small trees in the fairway. Players may elect to go over those trees to make their way down to the basket with rough located just short and just beyond. From the short tee, hole 14 is a par three, 364 feet. This plays slightly more uphill. So players will be looking to bite off as much distance as they can from their tee shot while avoiding the thick rough along the right side of the fairway. Hole 15 is one of the easiest holes on the course, a par three at only 200 feet. This is a combined tee. Players have wide open airspace on the right side of the fairway to approach 15's basket. Hole 16 from the long tee is our other par four at 543 feet with just about unlimited airspace to fly through. From the short tee is also a par three, making it one of the hardest par threes on the course, 375 feet. Everything about hole 16 looks easy until you approach the basket.
but as one of the signature holes on the course, the basket is extremely well protected around about half a dozen trees. Even a putt from 10 feet could be extremely challenging on hole 16. Hole 17 from the long tee is a par three, 444 feet. Players are given a generous wide open fairway with plenty of room to fly. But hole 17 has plenty of challenges as the rough around the basket is extremely thick with out of bounds painted line and beyond just on the other side of those woods. Hole 17's short tee at 287 feet gives a better look at the basket and a clearer line. But still presents the same danger with that thick rough and out of bounds. Hole 18's long tee is a par 3, 295 feet. Once again, some brush has been cleared to open up a more obvious gap to approach the basket. You can ignore the basket that you see on screen to the right. basket is going to be moved to another location just in the shade here and finally hole 18 for the short tee is a par 3 216 feet once again you can ignore the basket that's in the ground Players will need to navigate two small sets of fairway trees with plenty of airspace up and to the left. Looking to land their shot back in the shade by the basket here. This has been your official course preview of the 26th annual Brent Hembrick Memorial Open presented by Dairy Queen and sponsored by Discraft. As always, if you have any questions about Out of Bounds or any details about any of the courses, please contact your tournament director or refer to your official caddy guide. Good luck to everyone playing in the tournament and special thanks to all the sponsors.